Hey everybody, it's John the Comic Guy, and today's episode is a continuation of one I already posted when Michael came and did some trades with me. So today, I'm going to share another trade that I did with Michael. He came by today, and not a cent exchanged hands, it was really all trading. So really, if you go back to the episode of how to, how to collect comics on a budget, ladies and gentlemen, every book you see here today, not a penny exchanged hands. So... Let's let's get right on it, okay? The first is the only book that I saw from him that I took with the pure intent of selling. Spawn number one. Um, this book always moves, no matter what. So it was a nice condition one, probably a 9.2 to 9.4. I got it. Simply, I'm going to add it to inventory, and I'm going to ultimately sell it. But Spawn does great for me. It always has done great. It's probably the only image book that really uh, gains super attention for me, that, that at least that I typically get in inventory. So I always like to keep uh, a lot of Spawn on hand. Spawn number one. Great to have that in my inventory. By the way, before I continue with the books that I'm planning to keep, and now the ones I'm going to keep, some of them are for, for upgrading my own books. I'm going to show you the books that I'm keeping. The ones that I'm upgrading, I already put in inventory, right? That uh, No grass grows under my feet. But before that, just because we, we shared Spawn, I'm going to share, and maybe I'm going to interject some of these uh, with episodes. Every so often, I want to share a toy that means a lot to me, that I think I keep really nice toys, right? I don't keep masses, right? Just Even with comic books, it's not quantity for me. It's quality. So... This toy, I find, is a high-quality toy. It's a 12-inch figure. And since I saw, I showed you Spawn number one, I'm going to show you this. This is a Todd McFarlane toy from, you know, McFarlane Toys. I love this toy. This is the uh, 2004 Wings of Redemption's Redemption Spawn. This is a solid toy, right? This is no... I don't think there's... Uh, I don't think it's hollow. This this thing must weigh like two or three pounds. I love it. Look at that. The quality of the wings. But anyway, the Spawn Wings of Redemption. This is from his 12-inch uh, toy line that came out in 2004. If you like toys, man. Again, I'm not going to show a lot of toys because I'm more into comic books anyway. But every so often, especially because we were talking about me adding Spawn number one to my inventory, I really do like this. Wings of Redemption Spawn, and I think this was really the cover that I got um, when I saw it on the stands. I think it was Spawn 68, 67. Um, it's it's a beautiful cover. I understand why they why they uh, they made it into a toy. It's just great. So now these are books from Michael. Again, Michael, thanks for coming by. Um, that I'm going to keep for my 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 own collection. The first is Ghost Rider number nine. Ghost Rider is not one of the titles that I seek out, so I will collect it passively. And in this particular copy, while it looks great, I rate it as a 3.0. And the reason I'm rating it at a 3.0 is that it was neatly removed, but the Marvel stamp was removed from it. So um, even though it looks to me from the outside to be a fine, very fine copy, the fact of the matter is they have a, a, a two by one and a half square removed, right? If you look at CGC, that the highest it can go really is going to be a three and a half or, uh, you know, something like that. So I would rate this at a three and a half. Um, what are you going to do? But I'm keeping it. I do uh, I do like this book. I think uh, Ghost Rider is a pretty cool character, albeit I'm going to – I collect them passively, right? I have – I don't think I've ever gone out – well – Maybe that's a ridiculous thing ever, but very rarely do I go out and seek and flip through boxes with the intent of buying Ghost Rider. Maybe the Silver Age um, Western Ghost Rider, yes, but not not the Johnny Blaze. Also got this one, issue number 17. Again, since I got it passively, and it was probably like 10 bucks in trades. What the heck? Why not? Um, I'll just add this to my own collection. And one day, probably, it will sell. Uh, the next was an upgrade. I had a 5. This one's closer to maybe a 8.5. Um, the Amazing Spider-Man Annual Number 10. I remember getting this originally when I was a boy, um, when I was collecting my very first go-around with collecting comics. I bought this off in the newsstand, so when I see a nice copy of it, again, it was an upgrade to the one I had, 
and the one I have is already in inventory. So happy to add this as an upgrade to my collection. Uh, Tales to Astonish number 85. This was new to me. I did not have this. Uh, so I uh, added this. This is a decent decent condition book. Um, glad, glad to own this. I, I don't even want to speculate. And by the way, I haven't, I haven't pressed any of these books. So really the final grades are still be determined, but it's, it's not a bad looking book. Another book that's new to me is, uh, I don't know, this one I did have, and this is an upgrade. Um, so I think the one I had was a 3.5 of this. So this is Tales to Astonish number 81. Really nice cover, right? I, I I think you guys all know I'm a big Hulk fan. As a matter of fact, one of the, one of the future episodes, if I show you one of my favorite toys, it's what I think is the best Hulk action figure I have ever seen, and I own it. I used to own two of them, and I sold one. But Tales to Astonish number eighty one. Glad to add this to my collection. These are all upgrades. Well, well, most of these are upgrades. Submariner number thirteen. This was um, an upgrade for me. This is a mid, mid to mid, hot, mid slash high grade. The one I had was really much lower. Right? I think I had a three point, uh, three point five or a four. So ultimately, I know when I press this, this is going to be far higher than that. None of these books really were train wrecks. So I, I, I remember the last time I, I uh, uh, did the video on just do it. Pressure comic, clean and pressure comics. That was actually from the collection I got from Michael as well. Um, none of them in this collection were train wrecks, but if I, as I do this, as I hydrate and I see these are really something that I want to show you closely on how I'm pressing another uh, really beat up book, I'll do that. But I don't think any of these books are going to apply to that. So this was Submariner number four, um, another upgrade for me. Uh, this was, again, a nice mid to mid slash high grade. I, I'm, I'm happy about owning a fine, uh, approaching very fine copy. Uh, this was an upgrade for me, Dare, uh, Daredevil number 49. Uh, the copy I had, again, was lower grade. You're going to see that. Anybody coming by, you're going to see it in inventory soon enough. Uh, but a nice copy. It was a clean copy. There was a little staple damage here, but still, despite the fact that there was a little staple kind of pull, a little damage on uh, the cover, uh, where the staple goes, it's still a better better conditioned copy of the one I had in my collection. So clearly, Daredevil 49 has been upgraded. This book happens to be new to my collection. I did not have a copy. I've seen it at so many conventions. Honestly, with Doctor Strange, I'm kind of passive about it. I, I like the character. I thought the movie was great, but it's not one of the ones that I'm actively seeking. But number 178, a nice copy. So I have Never had this before, or if I did, I probably sold it. At least I'm adding a decent copy. Again, a mid-grade copy to my own collection. Um, and this is when he was uh, he, he covered himself up with uh, with the mask. It looks uh, looks really good. Next few are upgrades. One thirty-seven is an upgrade to me. Um, the one I had was pretty low. Uh, low graded that's added to inventory and now this one is this is a mid grade uh, I don't even want to say mid to high grade but this is a mid grade copy on uh, number 137 hopefully uh, when I press it it's going to be impressive to me and uh, either way it's better than the one I uh, the copy I had Hulk he had a lot of Hulks and I just see yanked them all um, Hulk 117 again this is an upgrade to what I had I had one close but this was actually centered a little nicer, so the cut on this one was a little nicer centered. Um, I think the one I had was uh, had a fold on the top. Just overall presents better. The grade might have been only 0.5 better than the one I had, but I'm still, hey, right? Uh, what are you going to do? I'm going to keep the higher grade. Same thing with this one. Um, issue number 112 is an upgrade to me. I think the one I had might have been a 3.5. This is probably a 4.5 4 or a 5. Uh, hopefully it'll press to to be a full five, but nice cover. I always I think you how many times do I got to say it? I really like Hulk uh, Hulk books. Hulk Silver Age, great. Hulk Bronze Age, great. More modern. I don't I don't tend to keep those, but for a twelve cent book, I'm ha happy to upgrade this for my own collection. Now, before I get to the last one, because again this isn't a comic skin, 
I want to thank our sponsor, Mark from ComicSkin.com. Um, you can get 5% off from the ones, the, the singles, the five packs, and the 10 packs of comic skins if you put at checkout in the coupon code John the Comic Guy 5, right? John the Comic Guy 5. And then you can get 5% off of your comic skins. So, Mark, thank you so much for uh, for sharing that with our viewers. Uh, this I have never had before. Now, I've had copies of this book. Hint. But I put this in a comic skin. I'm not going to get this graded. <sighs> Truth be known, it's a pretty valuable book, but I just don't care enough to, to get it graded, right? To spend the $29 to get things graded when... I have multiple 9.8s of this already. However, there is a difference. So, Spider-Man number one, Silver Edition. However, and I'm going to post pictures right here. This happens to be the Blue Lizard variant. Um, I was always wondering when I saw pictures, can you really tell? Yeah, you can tell. The ink was a little wonky on this machine, so it came out blue. So you'll see the pictures I post on here. It's clearly blue, clearly a blue lizard variant. And, you know, I already have multiple 9.8s. This is a beautiful copy. I have multiple 9.8s. Michael said that he might have a couple more. So when he, when, <clears throat> pardon me, when he brings them over, I might, he might trade another one for me, and then I will let that go to the public. So somebody, uh, one of you guys, uh, and again, I know you know this, but Ryan's going to get first right of refusal, right? Anytime I get a Spider-Man, if Ryan wants it, I always ask him first, right? You got to ask your buddies first, right? That's just respect. So uh, uh, if I get another copy of this, if Ryan is interested, I'll, uh, I'll offer it to him. If he declines it, I'll offer it up to the general public. But a 9.8, a beautiful copy, blue lizard variant. I'm happy about this. I'm not going to get it graded, but I'm going to keep it, and I'm going to keep it in my comic skin uh, proudly in my collection. So, everybody, that is it for this episode. Michael, I am so glad you were able to come by today and, uh, and visit and do some trading with me. Brother, you're always welcome to come by, right? You know, I work out of the house, so come on by whenever you want. And if you want, bring your uh, bring another copy of this because I think I have a couple of uh, hungry customers that would go for the blue lizard variant. Everybody, if you like this content, if you like uh, what you see, please hit the subscribe button. Uh, you could easily do that either on the YouTube app or if you hit the UCG logo at the bottom right of your screen. I thank you so much for your time, and I will talk to you all soon. You are the most talkative little kitty, aren't you? Say hi to the audience.